Many times we spend hours studying and memorizing things, but we have difficulty in remembering them. What do we do then? We spend more hours studying. Sounds familiar? The general belief is that the more you study, the more you remember. So study more even if it means there is very little time to sleep, right? During exam times, some students stay awake throughout the night and study only to forget it the next day. Why does this happen? Why are we not able to remember? We start asking ourselves, am I not capable of remembering? Is my memory really that bad? But you will not believe if I say the real reason could be your sleep. It is unbelievable, right? Yes, you heard it right. Your memory is directly linked to your sleep. You want to know how? Watch until the end of this video. My name is Arvind and this channel is all about helping you learn faster. If you like learning, consider subscribing this channel and click the bell notification. Now let us see 7 reasons why your sleep is important for your memory power. Reason number 1. Your sleep cleanses your brain. When you are awake, lots of poisonous harmful toxins get accumulated in your brain. These toxins are very harmful to your memory and learning. When you are asleep, something very unique happens in your brain. It is during sleep that all these poisonous toxins get flushed out. A system called glymphatic system gets activated on your brain and it sucks all the unwanted toxins like a sponge. This creates storage space for our new memories and this happens only when you sleep. If you don't sleep properly, then all the toxins will be revolving in your brain and you won't be able to learn anything new. Why? Because without sleep, the memory circuits of the brain become waterlogged and storing information becomes difficult. Reason number two, sleep erases junk memories. As per scientists, each and every day we create around 60,000 thoughts in our mind. Most of these are unwanted thoughts, but all the thoughts get stored in our brain. While you are sleeping, your brain erases all these unwanted thoughts. Your brain becomes fresh once again when these thoughts are deleted. Now you can learn anything new. This happens only you are in the habit of sleeping 7 to 8 hours a day. In other words, poor sleep keeps your mind confused. When the mind is confused and cluttered, studying becomes difficult. The third reason, lack of sleep reduces your concentration power. Are you finding it difficult to concentrate lately? Do you feel you are losing your concentration? Then the culprit can be your lack of sleep. So check your sleep pattern. Maybe you are not sleeping properly. Your nervous system slows down when you sleep less. Because of this, you cannot properly process the things that, that are happening around you. This includes your studies as well. Without sleeping properly, you cannot concentrate on your classroom as well as on your studies. Poor sleep leads to mind fog. Your ability to concentrate diminishes and you will have difficulty in thinking and remembering. Reason number four, inadequate sleep will give you stress. Poor sleep leads to stress which may trigger depression. How does this happen? Amygdala is a part of the brain which is responsible for your emotions. When you don't sleep well, amygdala becomes 60% more reactive. This in turn leads to higher levels of stress, depression and anxiety. This is a cycle. If you don't sleep well, you will get stress. How does this affect your memory? The memory retention greatly depends on the stress level of the individual at the time of learning. So if you wish to have a strong memory, sleep well. Sounds simple, isn't it? Fifth reason, sleep helps brain consolidate and store information. When you are asleep, your brain rehearses what you have learned. Matthew Walker, the scientist of California University, describes about a sleep experiment in his book, Why We Sleep. He conducted an experiment on a group of healthy adults. He first divided the group into two, the sleep group and the sleep deprived group. Both the groups were given a set of facts and were asked to learn. Sleep group got eight hours of shut eye, which means they had eight to nine hours of sleep. But the other group, which was not allowed to sleep, no nap, no caffeine, etc. The following day, he checked how each group remembered what they have studied. The results came out and the sleep group fared better than the sleep deprived group. There was a huge 40% difference in their performance. Simply put, sleep group were able to retain 40% more than the sleep deprived group. Such a big margin, am I right? It is too big to be ignored. 
This gap determines whether one passes or fails in an exam. It is unbelievable that something as routine as a sleep could make such a profound change in our learning and memory. That is because there is something in our brain called hippocampus. And you can think of hippocampus as your information inbox of your brain. It is very good at receiving new memory files and retaining them. When the brain activities of the two groups were compared, there was a significant learning related activity in the sleep group. Whereas in the other group, the memory inbox was shut down. So any new info incoming files were bounced off, thus bringing their learning activity to a halt. Doesn't this show how invaluable our sleep? Sixth reason, sleep helps to process and store all your learning in your brain. As per scientists, we sleep because of two reasons. One is to repair and restore our body's organs, including muscles, immune systems and other hormones. The second reason is to consolidate what we have learned during the day for later use. Let us now see how your brain processes your learning. Let us say you are learning a new chapter or lesson. Your brain doesn't and to be precise cannot store all the information at that very instant. It temporarily stores the information in the short term memory. Unless this information re reaches the long term memory, it will be forgotten gradually. To store this in the long term memory, your brain expects your body to do something very important that is sleep. What happens to the information when we sleep? Before that, you should know that the sleep passes through four stages. In the first stage, our body completely relaxes and our brain releases theta waves. In the next stage, our brain will emit powerful sigma waves which are popularly called as sleep spindles. Scientists believe that these sleep spindles play an active role in converting the short term memories to long term memories. The third stage is the deep sleep state in which our brain emits delta waves. During the deep sleep something surprising happens in our brain. It is during this stage that the brain flushes out toxic proteins it has accumulated throughout the day. The final and the fourth stage is called as the rapid eye movement stage. In this stage, our brain releases alpha waves and this stage is where we have dreams. All these four stages consist of one sleep cycle. The duration of a sleep cycle is anywhere between 90 minutes to 2 hours. Ideally, a night sleep consists of 4 to 5 sleep cycles. These sleep cycles are very crucial for our memory retention. But why? Because it is only during your sleep that your brain processes and stores the information. Sleep consolidates your memory functions and helps you to retain the information for a long period of time. The point to note is the duration of the sleep spindles is less in the beginning and increases as you sleep more. So you will experience more sleep cycles only when you sleep for at least 8 hours a day. And without these sleep spindles, it may be difficult for you to process your learning to long term memory. So if you don't sleep for 8 to 9 hours a day, you won't remember what you have learned. As simple as that. Seventh reason. Lastly, poor sleep reduces the immunity of your body. Research shows that if you don't have the habit of sleeping well every day, your body's immune system is greatly compromised. The immunity of your body depends on some natural killer cells which fight with the foreign bodies that enter your body which includes cancer cells. It is found that our immunity is reduced to 70% in a single night of sleep deprivation or lack of sleep. If this goes on for months or years, imagine the damage that your body endures. So sleep is a biological necessity. It is a life support system. So good sleep keeps us healthy and improves our memory power as well. So how well you learn depends on how well you sleep each and every day. If you think this video is helpful, consider subscribing this channel and click the bell notification. If you enjoyed this video, like this, share with your friends. Thanks for watching until the very end of this video. See you soon in the next video.